Hello everyone. Uh, today we are starting to look at the radar system in uh, Unity for bootcamp. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is uh, that you can't find any uh, naming in here for radar. So how the hell we should find it? Well, if you zoom all the way out uh, you should see uh, some kind of funny stuff below the train and if you select it you'll see that it opens you to radar and it's under game masters so the place to look for radar system is under game masters uh, let me frame on soldier okay so going to game masters we have some uh, things here uh, as I mentioned in the theory, we have a radar, we have a radar arrow, radar camera, a radar point, and radar occlude, occluder. Uh, we have two more things that you can't find in this hierarchy. And if I can find it here, let's zoom. One is this. If you look, it's all the way out of the hierarchy under the uh, jungle, I think. Forest, okay. It's under forest and it's called radar map. And another thing is that uh, particle system and uh, I'm not sure if, where was it? Trees. First train. No. Hmm. Oops. Miscellaneous. So we have ending point, we have our radar map, and uh, our radar system. Okay. So let's take a look at the radar system. If you look at the radar itself, it's just an empty object. Okay. So radar is just an empty object. The radar arrow is a plane. Uh, with a texture and the texture is just this simple arrow uh, we'll take a look at that okay later on uh, your other camera the first thing you should see is that uh, it's below the train okay but we'll take a look at that it's, it will jump uh, above the train later on for now I'll activate it to show you uh, something as you can see it's uh, when we look at top view it's uh, some orthographic camera that's uh, consuming all the uh, hole in the uh, occluder and radar point it's again a plane I think yeah uh, with a material that has alpha and we'll take a look at these later on and rather occluded is uh, rather occluded again it's a mesh a rectangle and uh, you can uh, create it in any 3D program or you can simply uh, export this as a package and reuse it 
and the thing about this is again it has a map assigned to it now the uh, where was it radar map as you can see it's a simple plane uh, with a te texture again and our ending point is simply a particle system okay a particle system with uh, some specific uh, settings and of course the texture we'll take a look at this uh, later on for now let's focus on our um, yeah why not I, on our camera okay you can see the picture here below our camera we have two things to look first is that it's orthographic okay the size is uh, as much as needed uh, you can take a look at the size in your game view and choose uh, what size you need well, as much as it goes below the size you can say it's bigger okay so the next thing we should take a look it's the depth if it's it, if it's equal to zero uh, it's uh, the same as the main camera if it's negative one it, you shouldn't see it at all so the best uh, thing is that you choose uh, something above the main camera something like one and uh, I think the other things are just uh, default the only thing you need is the X and Y to be set because uh, it's the thing that uh, placing the camera on the uh, X and Y as you can see and uh, well it's just a replacing on your interface but uh, if you remember our uh, theory I mentioned that we should somehow move the camera with the player uh, the first time I had opened the bootcamp and looked at the radar system I was thinking that I should find a script just on the camera but as you take a look it's just a simple camera no script there uh, the next thing I thought is that somewhere in this hierarchy I should uh, find that uh, script so I started to look from top to bottom uh, I should call these empty game objects just just the placeholders or uh, as some people online calls them folders uh, for Maya people out there they are some kind of uh, groups so I looked at it and I see this is empty another thing is our arrow again just a smooth look at we'll take a look at this script later on the camera is just a simple camera the radar point is empty and the occluder is empty so where is that uh, script we are speaking about the next thing I thought is that uh, when you want to move the camera depending on the player then maybe we should take a look at the player itself okay uh, so we should take a look at the play itself on the uh, soldier locomotion as you can see it's again another uh, placeholder but uh, we had some uh,
objects under it obviously it's the soldier and the camera the next thing I thought is that maybe it's on soldier <coughs> when I looked at the soldier I had seen this radar okay so uh, we should take a look at the soldier controller script uh, when I open the soldier controller script and moved all the way up to find the radar object okay and as you may know or may not know I have a add-on for my uh, Visual Studio when I am selecting something all the same uh, names are highlighted uh, it's uh, equal to going to take a look at uh, for this one okay we have find it unenabled unenabled is a, a method that is called every time we enable something means that if we enable the script uh, this method will be called and if we disable it this uh, uh, undisabled uh, method will be called so in the unenabled method we had this it says if radar object is not equal to null then set active recursively to true uh, it's the same as saying okay set active to true then take a look at all the children and set their active to true for example, in the hierarchy, if you take a look, the radar is the same uh, placeholder here. Okay, we are saying that. Okay, take a look at this. If it's not active, then we play the game and we activate the soldier controller script. Then activate this one. Then go below the hierarchy and take a look at every. Uh, child if you remember the radar camera was disabled and it's uh, saying hey go on and take a look at in hierarchy and then you look at in hierarchy you say okay uh, radar camera is not activated so set it active to true then below the hierarchy in radar camera set the active to true go one level back look at the others and if they are not true make them true uh, and vice versa in uh, undisabled uh, we set the active recursively to false okay and uh, to be honest that was all the thing I found in uh, soldier controller so in other words in soldier controller you are just uh, activating and uh, sorry 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 we are just activating and deactivating the radar system so it was not in here okay and I don't see any uh, other thing uh, the next thing I uh, took a look was uh, soldier camera when I'm looking at soldier camera uh, I'm finding this radar and radar camera okay uh, if you remember the theory uh, I was calling that uh, we should uh, give some uh, kind of controller in a script to move our radar camera so somehow we should uh, reference it and this is the place so the next thing I took a look was a uh, soldier camera 